Yo, 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 guys! Welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, PewDiePie here, and today we're looking at a unique deck from Little Dark Fear. I know a unique deck from me. Oh no, 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 no! Who made a unique deck? No, I'm just joking. I don't even. What was that intro? Don't ask me. Anyways, today we are going to be looking at a unique concept deck I've made here called Spider's Web. I guess I, I couldn't really find a good name for the deck, so I just named it Spider's Web. I don't know. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. It kind of runs with the theme. However, this is a lit deck, and I think it could be a very cool anti-meta rogue deck. Um, I like making new deck strategies. Um, so, here's one that I think is unique. So, this is a, basically a Galvantula Lycanroc deck to the core of it. Now, Galvantula is one of those Pokemon that has seen minor amounts of play. We've seen it before with Raticate in Yellow Swallow's Ratula deck. We've also seen it with Rainbow Road. But now I'm going to try it out in the new format. So I think it actually does have a pretty good purpose in this format. Um, now unfortunately with the loss of the evolutions, I think this deck definitely takes a big blow. If the evolutions are still in the format, I probably would end up taking out a few cards and putting in like a Flareon and stuff like that. Sadly, they're gone. I wish they weren't gone though. Because this deck would be popping with Flareon. Like if I had Flareon, I'd probably run it because then Galvantula can one-shot Beldums, but of course they're gone. Maybe an Expanded, but Metagross and Seaplane Expanded. Sad days. I wish the Evolutions would get reprinted. However, we're still going to try and make this deck work. Galvantula's typing isn't awful. Lightning type is kind of awful. The only thing you're really going to do damage to is, I don't know, Talonflame's first evolution, and I guess you can hit holes for 60. That's not too terrible, I guess. I've seen worse. Um, but we're actually going to be more reliant on the grass type of Galvantula, because Greninja is huge right now. Greninja is everywhere. A lot of people are playing that, because there's been a ton of Greninja videos recently, so a lot of people are playing Greninja now, and this deck can donk Greninja very easily. It can also very easily donk Remoraids. Octillery is also super popular, so it got it has really good typing. Um, so we're kind of mainly using Galvantula to counter Espeon, but it also, or not Espeon, sorry, Greninja. However, its typing is still relevant, and the damage output can be relevant comboed with Espeon. Now, you'd think this would be a crazy combo deck, but it ain't. Um, now, what's the best partner for Galvantula for this type of a deck? Personally, I think the best partner is going to be Lycanroc, and that's why we're going to play it. So, the deck relies on the combination of Bloodthirsty Eyes and Double Thread. That's one of the main strategies of the deck. So, Double Thread not only will be able to take out Froakies very easily, however, you can also use Bloodthirsty Eyes with it. So... Okay, let's p pretend you're in this situation. You're playing against Gardevoir GX, and you bloodthirst, and they rare candy from Gardevoir, so they have a 60 HP roll center. You'll bloodthirst eyes something on the bench, then you'll double thread the Gardevoir, and you can double thread it twice, and then Gardevoir will have 60 damage on it, and then you come in with Espeon and de evolve Gardevoir and win the game. Or not win the game, but take it out. So that's kind of the strategy there. We're gonna do double thread with Espeon and bloodthirsty eyes. Also, Lycanroc provides a very good attacker. One thing this deck might you know, struggle with, you don't really have that really powerful, hard-hitting attacker. So, Lycanroc has that with Dangerous Rogue, which is an amazing GX attack. But you also have Claw Slash, which isn't too terrible. Again, it's a little weak, but it's not too bad, I guess. Um, you also have Baby Lycanroc. The whole theme of donking stuff is high with this deck. Dangerous Claws is also very good for donking. Sometimes you can't you can't double thread an active Froakie, so you can instead try and Dangerous Claws it. We do play two Wallies in this deck to be able to do that kind of donking play. So donking with this deck is easy to do. Dangerous Claws will help us with that. We also have Corner. Corner can be very good against Metagross and Galissapod sometimes. Galissapod, I think, is your worst matchup. And I, want, I do want to talk about why I think Galissapod is a hard matchup to beat and why I think it's easily your worst matchup. But you do have Corner for that reason. And of course, Espeon is a huge player in this deck too with the whole double thread combo. So that's my idea and strategy with the deck. You have two very good attackers, one that can take out big decks like Greninja, and then you have Lycanroc, which would be a great backup attacker slash easy sweeper. So that's how that works. So let's talk about the other cards in the deck in forms of tech Pokemon. Of course, we play our two Tapu Leles for Wonder Tag and Energy Drive. We play 1-1 one, one Octillery. Octillery is just way too good not to run. I wish I had room for more, but we have a super on and stretcher, so it's not too bad. So we do play 1-1 one, one Octillery for Abyssal Hand. We do play 1 Mewtwo. Garbodor is a matchup that I think is kind of awkward. The only thing you can really do against it is the fact that you can donk Eevees with Lycanroc. You can 
easily deal with Drampas. Other than that, Garbodor is a bit of a pain because you do play a lot of items in this deck. Um, plus, Acid Spray can be an issue. So we're going to try Mewtwo out. It can easily knock out Espeon's and Because Espeon will probably have some damage on it with Double Thread. Plus, Mewtwo will one-shot it. And you can also maybe one-shot Garbodor. Because Garbodor might take damage. If you're playing against Glispod Guard, which I'll talk about the Glispod matchup in a minute. Um, you know, Glispod Guard, you know, they're going to take damage from Rainbow Energy. And, of course, Double Thread. So you can finish them off with Psychic. So we're going to be playing one baby Mewtwo in this deck as a tech. I think it's probably my favorite tech card to run. I wish I had a fire type tech. We'll talk about why I think a fire type Pokemon would be good for this deck. Or why Flareon would have been great had rotation not hit. So yeah, those are all of our Pokemon in the deck. We'll go into the items in just a moment. I want to talk about bad matchups. Your worst matchup is, without a doubt, Glispot. There's no... I, I can't deny it. Volcanion can also be tricky. However, Lycanroc can deal with Volcanion with Dangerous Rogue. You can deal with it with Tapu Lele. You can two-shot Volks. You have Double Thread, which can knock out Hoos in some way, shape, or form. Galissapod, on the other hand, is going to give you nightmares. One, they play Ace Rolla, so you're going to be able to heal them. You can't even double thread Wimpods that easily because they have 70 HP. Not to mention Glispod relies on you kind of bringing stuff out and switching Glispods. You can't reliably Bloodthirsty Eyes and Guzma double thread them because they want you to do that so they can do first impression. Plus, they hit your Lycanrocs for weakness. And they one-shot Galantula for one energy. There's no denying that the Glispod matchup is your worst matchup by far. There's no denying. It's just so hard to beat. This is why I think a Fire-type would be great. And this is why I think Flareon would have been nice to have in this format. Because then your Lycanrox would have one-shotted it. And Double Thread could have at least done decent damage to Wimpod. Again, Glispod you are going to struggle with. It is without a doubt your worst matchup. There is no denying that at all. It's going to be a tough, tough matchup. Volcanion is a little tricky too, I think. Because you don't have the Vaporeon Double Thread play. But I think you can definitely beat Volcanion thanks to other cool tech cards we have in this deck. So let's talk about the items. And there are a lot. Which does make the Garbodor matchup a little scary. But we have Mewtwo. So we play one Pokepuff. Sometimes when you're playing against Greninja, they'll see the Galvantula. But then you Pokepuff them and knock them out. So that's why we play one Pokepuff in here. Two Field Blowers to get rid of any Stadiums or Tools. One Nest Ball. I like Nest Ball in here. It's kind of a replacement for Level Ball in a way. You can play Evo Soda too. Evo Soda isn't bad, but you don't want to Evo Soda into Bloodthirsty Eyes. So that's kind of why I don't play it. I like Nest Ball because it does let you Nest Ball. If you need the one-shot turn with, um, uh, you know, Lycanox, you start with Jolt, which, the, which has a free retreat cost. You can retreat it for free, Wally into a baby Lycanox and one-shot something. Uh, we do play one Stretcher and one Super Rod. I like having the mix of both in here. Uh, we do play one special charge. DC is highly reliant. I was thinking of not playing it, but then I had the strong energy in the deck, which I added last minute, so I was like, let's just play special charge. Four Ultra Balls to search you what you need. One Bridget. Bridget's amazing. If you're not going to turn one Wally, you might as well turn one Bridget. Three Guzmas to be able to combo it with Galvantula. I know we play Lycanroc, but you only get two shots of using it without the stretch or super odd play. Um, so I'm just going to play three Guzmas anyways. The most expensive floor on the market. Please nerf the value of this. Hashtag give LDF a demo count. Of course, we got our four ends. Um, it's great in a deck like this where you're going to be getting knocked out super easily because Galvantula's only got 90 HP. Joltik's only got 30 HP. We got four Sycamores for draw support. I was thinking of only three, but without VSC, your four Sycamores is must. We got two Wallies. Wallies, great. It lets you do turn one Donks. Three Bursting Balloon. I love this card. Bursting Balloon is a huge player in this deck. Yes, Field Blower is popular. Yes, we don't play Eco Arm, but Bursting Balloon is absolutely lit. You know what's cool about this is you can Bursting Balloon without the double thread combo. So if your opponent is, if you can't blow up their CIs and do something to like Garivor, well, they hit you, they'll take 60 damage, then you Espeon de-evolve them if they rare candy from a roll. So that's simple. Plus, Bursting Bloom, with the um, double thread combo, they'll have 90 damage on them, which does let them de-evolve them if they went from a Tang or Ralts or Curlier or something. So that's why I like Bursting Bloom. It lets us do extra damage and maybe puts Pokemon in one-shot range. Three Choice Bands to, of course, do more damage. One Float. There are Pokemon Bigger Treat, but you're not always going to have Mewtwo on the bench. You're going to have Octillery, but again, Guzma's here. We got DC, so it's not a big issue. You can run two, but then you're running nine tool cards, which is just overkill. Or not eight. No, nine, right? Yeah, three. Yep, nine. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm dumb. You're running eight tool cards, which is overkill. We got two strong energies, so we could do extra damage. Sometimes Dangerous Claws needs to do 80 damage to one-shot Wimpods, right? That's always needed. That helps us in the Glow Spot matchup. Also, 
Sometimes we need Claw Slash to do 130 if we're playing against Xerneas or something, or we're playing against Baby Volk. Baby Volk gets one-shotted by Claw Slash with a strong energy, so we're going to be playing two strongs. We do play four basic fighting because we can use him with Galvantula. We can also put DC on it, though it's not needed. We do have Special Charge and Super Rod, so it's fine to go for having four DC and four basic energy. I'm losing my voice here. We do have our four DCs, of course, for other Pokemon. So this is my deck. My Lycanroc Galvantula anti-meta deck. The Spider's Web deck. You know, Spider-Man. Anyways, let's go find some matches of this deck. See you next on PC Joe, and let's see if this deck actually has some potential to be a fun rogue. So you guys Alright guys, let's go find some matches with the Spider Web deck. I don't know. I'm thinking now the deck's name is not very good. You guys can change it if you want. If you guys have a better name for the deck, leave it in the comment down below. I like the name Spider Web, but I don't at the same time. So it's a weird name, but I think I'll roll with it for now. So, it looks like we're playing against Gardevoir. We could be playing against Xerneas, too. I've run into a ton of Xerneas decks recently. So, hopefully, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Both matchups are, I guess, decent. Because you can one-shot Xerneas with Lycanroc. Um, so, we'll find out what it is. Hopefully, it is not... Actually, I don't know. It's really, I think, yeah, Xerneas is probably worse than Gardevoir. Gardevoir, you can definitely beat, in my opinion. Probably your easier matchup. I guess we'll see. I only saw Psychic Carlos and... Fairy, so I don't even know. But we are maybe gonna be able to get a donkey with Rock. Hype, hype, hype. It's Xerneas, because he has Xerneas coin, I just realized. I didn't even see the Xerneas coin. This definitely confirms the Xerneas. It's Sylveon. Okay, I think it's Sylveon Gardevoir. Okay, so we're definitely gonna just I think we'll just bridge it. Hopefully it's not Quad Sylveon, that would be total AIDS, but we'll see. Um, okay, I mean, again, I might not need Joltik here, but go for it anyways. Man, I don't know where to put this energy. I want to put on the active. Alright, we'll risk it. If I get Lele, I get Lele. That's going to be the plan. If I get Lele, I get Lele. I'm worried he'll Lele Bum, but if he is go Sylveon, then he's not gonna knock me out. So, I think I'll risk it. Bridget, okay, looks like we will live here, unless he's got Flipstone Lele DCE in his hand. Hopefully he doesn't. Okay, it is Gardevoir, which is good. Um, so I'm gonna have to probably go into Galvantula here. So I might just end up retreating into a Galvantula. I'm gonna put an energy on uh, Joltik here and go into Galvantula. Sad face. This kind of makes me not want to end him now, which is sad. I could wild kick him, I guess, but it's not really effective. It's going to keep my Joltix down. Ah, man, I don't want to end him. He doesn't have a fairy, but... Oh, this is so painful. Uh... Oh, I didn't want to do that. And it punishes me by not giving me anything? Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. I... Th this game trolls me sometimes. Alright, let's just do this. Force a Lele down. Nope. Ooh, he still didn't get any fairies. Okay, that's not too bad. He didn't get a Gardevoir candy either. I guess we'll corner him. Dang it, dude. This game punished me. It didn't even give me what I wanted, man. Rip. This is why I wish Level Ball was in the format. I feel like Level Ball will eventually return. Dang it. I mean, we didn't really give him the greatest of hands, but still, not being able to double threat him is awful. Maybe, though, we can do Sycamore End for double Lycanroc here. We'll see. See an Ultra Ball? My opponent's definitely going to grab... He's only got one pull. Okay, he gets rid of Field Blower, which is nice. Um, he's probably going to grab a Gardevoir. Oh, he is, actually. Wait, he doesn't have a candy unless he top decked it. So I didn't see one. Oh, he did. Oh, my God. All right. Again, he can't retreat, so... Well, no, he could... Oh. Okay, no. No, wait, no. Wait. Okay, I'm actually confused. Okay, I think he could actually... Okay, he could knock me out here, actually. I just realized. Hopefully that didn't happen. I should have attached that Bursting Balloon now. If that would have worked out, because if he attacked me, I could have de-evolved him and knocked him out. Hmm. So I think he can use Gardevoir's ability... To go into Sylveon here. 
and then he can retreat for free because it gets rid of corner. And then he can finish me off with infinite force. Hmm. Uh oh. Okay, thank God. Wow. Um, in before he has switch. Okay, good. Nice. We got Guzma. I think this is a good turn to... We'll bring out Ralts, because I'm going to go into my Lycan Rock. I'm actually going to do... Oh, I'm losing SP on I'm going to attach to Rockruff. Just spread out the energy. And I'm going to Sycamore. If I attach all my energy to one Lycan Rock, you might see a Sycamore there. Okay, we do indeed get the uh, Galvantula. We do get, we get Super Rod too, which I'll... I might, I might just do it now. Honestly, because I do want I do want to get Espeon back in the deck. Could have waited, but it's fine. Got Field Blower. I think we'll play that too. This way he doesn't get a free retreat. Maybe that's relevant. I doubt it. He only has a one retreat cost, but we'll do that anyways. And we will double thread him here and hit both of these Pokemon for 30. And that's I wish I had Bursting Bloom. Bursting Bloom would have been really clutch there. But we don't. That's fine. I might even honestly attack with Mewtwo. How much is it doing though? 20. He's got 6 energy on him, so he's doing 60. He's doing 80. 110. Okay, he is. Okay, I saw that coming. I saw that. Sweat and put the DC on my Lycanroc. That's why I spread out the energy there, because I put all my eggs in one basket. That is what would have happened. But I think if, we, if he doesn't knock us out, I'm probably just going to Guzma him again. I'm going to Guzma Eevee, take out. No, actually. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I got this sorted out. Infinite Force. Okay, good. We survived too, which is pretty darn clutch. Balloon. I like what I'm seeing. This is nice. Hopefully he doesn't have thing. I didn't want to lose Mewtwo because I might actually attack with him here. So we'll hit both these Pokemon once again. Now Gardevoir is in range of being Espeon, and now his Curlia is being not only in range of getting knocked out, but if he Gardevoirs it, it's very close also to being evolved so we're in a good spot as long as he doesn't knock out like rock but again it's fine i think we're good We've got our espion back in the deck um yeah we've used two guzmas so we're gonna rely on bloodthirsty eyes well there's the lele but this forces him to have to probably get an energy and a guzmas or, or just a guzma i guess i'm fine with him knocking out like rock though i don't mind that we still have another rock rough anyways in play so it's not a big deal um, honestly maybe his better play is to knock out rock rough because this thing's already really weak he can finish it off with lele if he wanted to We'll see what he does. Nope, okay. Honestly, I think the smartest play would have finished off this, but I'm not complaining. He does avoid the Bursting Balloon, but that's fine. So my goal here is to find Espeon to finish him off. We'll, we'll need Espeon energy. We knock him out with Espeon, which is clutch. We can actually take two prizes here with Espeon. So it looks like that will be the case. I just wish the balloon would have happened. That's fine, though. Rip Lycanroc, you were a soldier. Plus, we use our super odd. Sycamore. Oh, I gotta lose Mewtwo, too, don't I? Rip. I could maybe... Oh, maybe I should have done that to Lele. I don't know. Oh, Rip, we whiffed Espeon. We actually whiffed pretty hard there, I'm not gonna lie. Well, I think it's best just to attack him with Galvantula. I mean, once we find Espeon, we can finish off Gardevoir, so that's fine. That's rip, though. I'm hoping he doesn't take out my Rockruff, either. Okay, goes into Curlia. That's cool. Let's see what happens here. I really wish I had a Bursting Balloon, because then I could just finish him off with Tapu Lele if I needed it. It's pretty interesting. I think the whiffing is what's kind of hurt me here a bit. Ultra Ball? It's probably going to grab Lele number two. I gotta have to worry about Lele too. Sylveon, okay. Last card in his hands, a Sycamore then I'm guessing. Or an N. Oh, dang it dude, he had that perfect hand. How many, he's not using that many supporters either, which is a little scary. He's used up some Guzma, Stretcher too. Boy, he's gonna get back those things, not nice. I think, oh, just, oh, he's getting those back, cool. Cause I might honestly go into a Galvantula here, we'll see. Though I need to deal with them, but this thing's still in play. It's not got a lot of damage on it. But his bench is full, so 
We're gonna knock him out with Lycan Rock soon. Okay, I think I'm just gonna... Nice. Hmm. I might trap the Orangaroo and double thread him here. Should I do that, or... Should I just... I, uh, this thing's Espeon bait, so I don't want to... Alright, let's try it. We'll do it. If not, we'll Espeon him then instead. This seems fine. I guess we'll end him too. I mean, he has a Rangaroo, but he's only drawn three, so it's not a big deal. There's Espeon, so there we go. We are going to be able to do that play, or we can set that thing up to be not there too. But I think it's better to go Espeon. I wish I had an energy to go with Espeon, because I don't really like Espeon in him here when he doesn't have anything else. I'm going to Burst Team Balloon him now, too, just in case. And then that just works out in our favor, because then we do all this. But the cool thing is, now he can't go into Gardevoir, unless he has Rare Candy. But if he does that, he's only got 30 HP, so he's easy to knock out. So let's just de-evolve everything there, and kick out Gardevoir and get a free prize. It's only one prize, so it's a little slower, but it paid off. I don't like having a DC on Espeon that's so easy for him to knock me out with Gardevoir, but we still got our Rescue Stretcher. We got Guzma, and then I'm gonna Guzma him probably. I'm gonna probably Guzma. I don't know. But this works out good. Field Blower, no! Oh, he's getting rid of Balloon. We'll see what he gets rid of. Honestly, all these tools are important, so he's gotta choose wisely. Okay, I'd rather, honestly, him not get rid of this on Lele, because Lele is a decent attacker here. Let's see. Does he find a way to knock me out? Uh, we got rid of one Fairy Garden, but I don't really want to do that. Professor Kiki, this could be big. And before he gets Rare Candy, Gardevoir, Secret Spring, play 2k. Oh, my poor Orangaroo. Doesn't look like it's the case, though, because he's evolving into Curlia. But I'm surprised he didn't evolve the other one into Curlia, because that one doesn't have damage, and that kind of plays into my trap here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Nice, and it played off. I might, ah, uh, let's just retreat. We haven't played Special Charge yet, have we? Yeah, let's just retreat. Or we, I guess we Guzma him. Something to bring out, though. So yeah, I'm gonna retreat. Then this way, Espeon doesn't have a DC on it to easily be picked off. And I guess we'll end him to three again. Okay, I've seen worse. I'm gonna dump these Ultra Balls. Grab another Rock Ruff. Just in case we Rescue Stretch our Bloodthirsty Eyes. And we will double thread. Uh, I'm gonna hit the Sylveon too. Just It can also be de evolved and knocked out. Maybe I should hit Ralts, that's fine. He's kinda stuck. He's trapped in the active. I doubt he plays Floatstone, because he plays Fairy Garden. <laughs> Lele can't even knock out the Banjo, which is hilarious. Ace roll up, but he can't use it on a Rangaroo! Ha ha ha! I should, maybe, I, maybe I should hit the Ralts, knowing he was going to do that. But that's fine. I'm still going to double thread these two. He's still trapped. That's awesome. Hey. Uh, how many Strongs? We haven't played a single one yet, have we? Ooh, we have. I also attach that to... I'm going to attach it to Lele. I'm going to spread out the energy a little bit. I'm not going to end him. Well, actually... How many Guardies does he... Well, he still has his Guardies. How many Sycamores? One. I will end him. I need to find, like, more Pokemon anyways. Balloon works, too. We got strong energy and a DC for Espeon. So, let's double thread... And we will hit these two. Because we can always finish off Lele with Dangerous Road. Worst comes to worst. See if he's still stuck. Nice part about this, he can ace roll of that Gal that uh, Rangaroo. Probably he uh, really probably want to do that last turn. Alright, he does find energy. However, Lele can knock me out. Sycamore, ooh, ooh, what's he gonna lose? Two energies, that's good. That hurts the odds of him getting secret springs. He's lost four already. There's Gardevoir. He's got 30 damage, he's gonna take more with bursting balloon. I think as long as it doesn't knock me out here, I might actually have a chance at winning this game. I wish Gardevoir had more damage. Ooh, he's, he's actually... Magical Ribbon is a mistake, my friend, even though I'm out of ends. Am I? Yeah, I am. Rip. Dang it. 
Okay, I guess he noticed that. I guess he looked at my discard pile and saw that I was out of ends. I don't know what else he can grab at this point, unless he wants Guzman. I guess he wanted to avoid the balloon, but that's fine. We do find Stretcher, which I will definitely hold on to. Do you think he- what's the odds of him playing a healing card? So I think he might have grabbed that, but I doubt he plays two ace rollers, so maybe we can... Man, this is tough. I don't want to attach to Lycanroc. I don't really know what to do here. I think it's best just to keep this hand, right? Like, I, I could put the Strong Energy on Lycanroc now. I mean, Claw Slash does knock out Sylveon. No, it doesn't actually. I could dangerous roll him, I guess. We could take out Tapu Lele here, which I don't actually mind doing that. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, hold on, hold on, I know game, and then we can finish him off with Silk with Espeon. So that's the play. I am going to knock out Lele here. I may regret that if we see some sort of heal. I mean, I could have double-threaded. No, it doesn't matter. Dangerous Road. Boom. Goodbye. And this way, we can do Espeon. So we'll take our two prizes. Let's see. Ultra Ball and Galvantula. Okay, that's fine. We know he grabbed, um, thing. We have another Lele in the deck, too, I think. So we can get, definitely grab a supporter. Like Guzman. I like Guzman. Now, is Lycanroc going to live? It's not. Yep, definitely not. He only use one candy too, so you can definitely see on the guard before hit the field. We need to end him though. That magical ribbon was big. In fact, I couldn't end it away. He definitely grabbed that Guzma too, unless it's prize. Unless this is his last prize. Oh no. The fact that he avoided my balloons too is kind of annoying. can't de-evolve him either. Hmm. Oh no, the other Lele's prize, no. I mean, there's really not much left in the deck anyways, but that kinda sucks. He's definitely got Guzma to win the game. He would have had a candy. I, I don't think we can do anything. I legit don't think we can do anything. We can't de-evolve him because he's he went Curlia. We just need more prize. Kind of regret taking out Lele now, but I kind of don't. I needed to. I think I just take the L here. Nothing I can do. There's, he's definitely got a KO. Yeah, he's definitely got the win. Alright, well. I think I just gotta take the L. I can't de-evolve him. So I gotta energy drive him here. I think I just gotta say, well, you win. That's sad. Oh man, we were so close. We came so close. No. Ah, oh, man. I think we played this game pretty well. I think we drew pretty well, too, for the most part. I think we just, we tried everything. I think the fact that he didn't play, like, any Remorades kind of sucked because it's such easy targets when you're playing against Gardevoir. It's kind of sad. But I think we're going to be able to get 60 coins out of this. So. We're taking some dubs. That sucks, though, man. That really sucks. We were so close to beating him. But just, luck was not in our favor. I'm very upset right now. But we will get another match for the deck in just a moment. So we'll see you guys in just a minute. We're hopefully we can win. Okay, so I'm not going to go find either. another match for the deck. Or hopefully, you know, we can win. We still came super close that match. I think we showed off the deck very nice in that last game, regardless um, whether or not we lost or not. So it's not too big of an issue. But, you know, I ain't taking two L's of this deck. <laughs> so, no thanks. Um, but we'll see what we're going to be up against in this game when we find it. Uh, there we go. Please don't be close, fun. 
Let's see, it is another Gardevoir matchup. And one with Octillery, so something we can actually work with. So that is nice. I don't mind this at all. Depends on how this goes. We do win the coin flip. But I'm going to say no, just in case we get a nice little turn one donkey poo here. Don't know why I said donkey poo. And nope, doesn't look like that donkey's going to happen unless we top deck an energy. So we can get an energy here. Maybe we can start doing some baby Lycanroc plays, which I would like to do. Drompa, be my guess. I mean, there still is something we can donk, right? So it's pretty lit. I don't mind him starting with Drampa either. A yes, put wait what snow on Gramble? What's going on? Am I being trolled? This is the most clickbait deck I've ever seen. <laughs> from from the preview, it looks like you're up against Gardevoir and you're playing against Gramble Remoraid. I'm fine though. I guess I'm gonna bridge it. I don't really wanna do Sycamore right yet, so. Okay, we got baby Lycanroc, so probably gonna need it for Drompa here. And I think I'll do this, and I'm going to pass. He could end me, so I don't want to Ultra Ball. So I'm going to wait until he ends me here. That seems fine. And hopefully my opponent is spooked by the Drampa. Or the Lycanroc, sorry. The Rock Ruffs that go into Lycanroc. It'd be nice if it spooked him. I don't even, what does Bramble do? I think it does more damage for damage on it. So Double Thread doesn't matter, right? Okay, so we're definitely not going to attack Dram uh, Gramble, but we do one-shot it with... Lycan Rock. I don't know how my opponent would win this. I just opened up Google. Okay, Octillery. I would have liked to have taken that out, but it's fine. Looks like he's not going to attack Joltik too, which means Drampa is just such an easy price for us. Did he just put Experience Sharing on? He did. Okay, Choice Band. Is he going to end me? He hasn't played any supporters, so... Let's see. No, he doesn't. Alright. Ooh. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put that down. Well, actually, no, I could have Ultra Balled it. Dumb misplay, guy. Okay. I'm making some pretty bad misplays today. I know. Oh, Remory's prize, too. That sucks. All right, I'm just going to grab Galvantula. I'm going to start doing the double threads to Artillery. So, that's fine. I shouldn't have put Espeon down, though. That's fine. I'm definitely not going to hit Gramble, though. That's a dumb misplay. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so we do have the, uh, the Galvantula play here. Or I can just retreat and dangerous claw him. He hasn't put a rainbow on yet. Yikes, I don't know. I think I'm gonna Galvantula. He's probably gonna be stuck in the active for a moment. I'm gonna keep Field Blower too. I don't wanna play right now. I do wanna get rid of that Octillery though. Shut down his draw support. I don't see a point in hitting Drampa though, so. Or, uh, Gramble. So I think we'll just double snipe these two Pokemon. There's no point in hitting Gramble. I mean, it just powers itself up, and I don't want to be in that position. How much? So he's doing 130, 150. He's only doing 160 with a choice ban. But yeah, again, we'll one shot him with Claw Slash. So that's nice. I need to get another Rock Ruff down. We burned through a few supporters, so we don't have a supporter here. But I don't think he can knock me out this turn, unless he does that. Okay, he's bringing out Baby Lycanroc. I'm fine with that. I'd rather him knock that out than uh, Lycanroc. We'll see if he finds Rainbow. If he doesn't find Rainbow Energy, that's not bad, but not good either. Because we can't actually respond with a KO of our own. We can play Poke. I mean, that works too, of course. So I guess he just needs an Energy? I don't actually know. Alright, it looks like our Lycanroc survives. Unless he Dark Clamps me. It looks like he's just gonna do that. Alright. No, no, he fight back me. Alright. Mewtwo. I don't need you, buddy. But, you know what? We might as well just take a free prize on Drampa here while we're at it. We're taking damage, which I don't like, but... We get a free prize. I should have field blowered beforehand, I guess. That's fine, though. Yeah, maybe I should have done that beforehand instead of evolving. Again, a bit of a misplay. I know. But Dangerous Claws will knock out this Drampa GX, and we will be able to take two prizes, and we definitely need to find some kind of draw support, and we don't. But good news is, he can't knock out my Lycanroc. Unless he plays... Uh, he's got to play Rainbow Energy. It'd be a no-brainer to not play Rainbow in a deck like this. He's got to play it. Let's find out. 
he does. Dang it, dude. I was hoping he didn't. Honestly, I was hoping he didn't, so Lycanroc wouldn't get knocked out. Heh. Scumbag, scumbag of the year. People who play Enhanced Hammer with Thrampa, why are you doing this to me? And a Po Town. That's not nice. Ultra Ball. I mean, with Poke Town and Espeon in play, he's kind of doing the work for me. He's going to lose a Field Blower, which isn't too terrible. Let's just Bursting Blue in this thing. I need to finish off Octillery, though. He's taking damage, so I guess he's doing my dirty work for me with Double Threat, I guess. That's not actually... That's not too bad, actually. Choice Band. Okay. We need to draw something, so... Yeah, that'd be nice. And N, anything would be great. Wish I had Joltik in play, though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, there we go, we got Lele. I'm actually gonna maybe use Mewtwo here. Uh, Mewtwo could knock him out. 150, yeah, we can... We can actually attack with Mewtwo, I don't mind that. Uh, have we used our Floatstone, though? I don't think we have. Let's check, actually. I could grab Guzma, I guess, but I'm not going to. Okay, we haven't, so I think I'm gonna... Either I hold off on the balloon here, or I don't. I think I'm gonna put it on anyways. I'm probably gonna try and knock him out regardless. So yeah, let's go Sycamore. Hope to hit the energy to take him out. We do. And yeah, nice. Oh, what the heck? Oh, something just went in my ear. I, I swear to God, I got, I got bugs in my room. Now, there's a fly buzzing around. I think it just went in my ear. <laughs> I'm fine, though. Alright, now, what do I double thread? I take out Artillery. Is there a point in doing damage to Drampa? Then we can actually take him out with Tapu Lele. So, uh, yeah, that's not bad, actually. Sure. I mean, I know I'm doing the dirty work for him, but I can knock him out with Tapu Lele at that point. A hey, Guzma, nice. Now, he'll knock out my Galvantula. We'll take 60 damage, and we can finish him off with Mewtwo or something. We took out his draw support, which is really good. Plus, he's used two Remorades, so he can't get them back unless he's super odds. Guzma, oh, he's going to take out my Lycanroc. That's fine. Can he actually? I don't think he can. I think he's short. You can do 130. No, even if you found a choice band, Lycanroc will still survive the turn here. Okay, no 130. That's fine. I'll just Guzma him then. I know he wanted to get around the thing. Really tempted to knock him out YouTube, but then we'll get knocked out. Layla is the only thing that cannot be knocked out. So yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's take out this Gramble. And while I'm at it, I might as well. And here we go, Energy Drive for the KO on the Granbull. Very weird deck. I guess pretty creative, though. Um, I think the fact that the Granbull just doesn't knock you out quick enough is one of the issues. Maybe this dude could run, like, a couple Salazzles in his list. That'd be a little clunky, but I think Salazzle would be bad in here. Maybe I'll do a Granbull Salazzle video. I don't know. End um, to two. Okay, that kind of sucks, because our Remorade is prized. We don't have Octillery. And, I mean, still in the deck, I think. Alright, so we're gonna get end. Alright, we still got energy to knock out this Grain Bowl, which is nice. So, we can still take him out of Mewtwo if we wanted to. We are gonna see a Choice Band, but he is still going to be 10 short. And that's good. And then I think I'm gonna retreat Lele into Mewtwo and... Special Charge, right? Yeah, okay, we can get back a few cards, that's fine. What do we top deck? Ultra Ball, that is good too. I mean, I could double thread him again and keep putting damage on. But at this point, I think we're okay to retreat our Tapu Lele into Mewtwo. I, I mean, it's a cool KO too, right? So, we'll special charge. And whatever we draw into, we can definitely use for our Ultra Ball for Lele to get out of this bad spot we're going to be in. Unless he ends me to one. But I'm assuming he'd rather find Guzman. Now, I know Mewtwo gets one shot of a Gramble. Oh, there's Remoraid. Kind of makes me not want to discard it, though. But I got to do what I got to do. I just wanted to take him out Mewtwo. I mean, that's just such a hilarious KO. You might as well. It's a hilarious KO, right? Okay, so he's pretty low on... Oh, he's gonna meet a 1? No. Okay, I know you guys don't like when I look at the discard, but I need to check. Three... Oh, I was gonna say, I need to check my Sycamore, but I drew into it. I feel bad. I kinda do. Alright, well, we basically win the game here if we find an, a DCE. So, let's see if we can find it. DC, are you there? Hey, there it is. There it is. We even got floats. So we don't even have to discard the energy. 
Very good game, though. Um, you know, we showed off the uh, Mewtwo, which is cool. Um, this deck went pretty well. It was a pretty decent match. We showed off how the fighting can work against Drampa. And if we can get enough coins, I'm going to buy a pack. If not, I'll do another match for you guys. We don't rip. Hmm. I don't think I have enough coins to buy a pack here, and I really do want to buy a pack for you guys. Um, I want to end this video off with a pack opening. I'm not going to be able to get the PLF pack, unfortunately. So I think we'll find another match with our deck. That was a weird match anyways, so let's find one more game. Fighting Water. I don't know what to expect. Maybe it is Greninja, though, with Soto Wudo. Or Marshadow. I don't know. That'd be weird, though. But if it is Greninja, I'm fine with that. Plus, we lose a coin flip, so he is playing Greninja. You could be playing Water Toolbox, too. Which is cool. So, we might donk him here. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, unless he ends me. We got the worst starter we could have gotten in this situation. No! Now, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with him playing Water Toolbox, too. He might be playing that. All right. He's got it. This is where I'm going to show off Galvantula, people. As I'm going to text my friend. That's nice. I think it is Greninja, but what is the fighting time? Unless he's playing, I don't know, Soto Widow, Carbink, Marshadow. I don't know. I mean, it could be a Lycanroc deck too, which is also a good matchup for us. Hey, look at that. I mean, he has a big hand and still decent. I mean, I could lay for Bridget instead, which I think I'll do. Is Bridget in the deck? Dang it, it's not. The one time. I'll grab him, Joltik, then. I don't mind it in him. Like, I want him to get something going. In before he knocks out Joltik. So this is where I need to find an S ball and stuff. We don't. We do find Ultra Ball. We get Bursting Balloon. I think I'm going to wait to put Bursting Balloon on. Um, sorry, my dog's barking, by the way, if you can hear that. I am going to get rid of... I'll get rid of these two. I don't think we'll need Wally right now. Um, and I think... Oh, Rem Raid's still prized, too. Are you serious? Wow, I guess I guess we're not going to be able to use Octillery in this game, or any of my games. So I guess we'll double up on Joltik. And I'll pass. I'll keep the Bursting Blue. We might not need it for now. So yeah, we'll wait. Okay, it is Lycan Rock. This is a good matchup, of course, so that's fine. Now, I really desperately need to find a way to retreat Mewtwo. Please put more of those on your bench. And, ooh, please, can I get Floatstone and... Well, not Floatstone or anything. Honestly, if I get Floatstone and get bench, I'm trying to talk over my dog, by the way, if you can't tell. We don't. Dang it. So, <laughs> Mewtwo. We found DC and Galvantula. I really would like to knock out these Rockruffs, so I am I'm so sorry for my dog barking. It drives me insane. Well, I'd like to just tell her to be quiet. I really would, guys. Two energies. That's actually not too shabby. Of a discard for him. I might hurt him in down the road. Yeah, I, I'm so sorry about that bark. And I don't know if I can even filter that out with music. I'm so sorry. I can't control it. My dog's really yappy. Choice band. Oh, rip. Hmm. I guess we got rock rough of our own. Or no, I mean, you're best beyond. Not rock rough. Man, we whiffed pretty hard there. I could Guzma, but that's kind of dumb. I wish we can corner him. What? Man, I regret playing Mewtwo now. I really do. The one time we could Galvantula. This game trolls me. It doesn't... Bruh. Guess we're gonna pass. <sighs> so annoying. And the one time. And he doesn't do both thirsty eyes, it looks like, but ah, these lichen rocks, man. <laughs> it would have been so easy to. Oh, man. It's so sad. If only this game liked me today and didn't give me the start. Okay, let's hope he doesn't retreat this thing. Please, don't do it. I'm getting bad luck today, man, with this deck. <sighs> well, no, I'm not. I, I mean, the Gardevoir game, I got good luck. Even the uh, Gramble match wasn't bad, but this game, I'm getting just <sighs> awful luck. 
It's like the one matchup too that's perfect. It's one of our best matchups and we're just getting awful luck. He's playing two Pokemon we can smoke with Galvantula and this game is just slapping me in the face and not giving me good luck. This game hates me today. Confirm that I'm not getting anything out of a pack. Like two easy prizes, but not gonna happen. We did bring out Rockruff, which is good. Um, man, if Remoraid wasn't prized either, this is such a good situation for Remoraid not to be prized. And my boy Remoraid has to be prized. Okay, at least he isn't attacking me, because I think he attached to uh, Lycanroc. Still, the energy spread is kind of scary and annoying. Come on, give me a top deck. Yes! Okay, that's actually decent. However, we're probably gonna get knocked out soon. Still not too bad. I guess we'll finish off... Okay, we'll just do this, I guess. Do I keep that or attack? Because I could top deck Lycanroc here. Alright, I'm gonna just put... Okay, never mind a Rockruff's probably I was thinking we could put another Rockruff down, but I can't. I might just keep that, honestly, in case we need to knock him out here. So, I don't know. I am going to double-threaded Lycanroc to put some damage on it so we can finish it off with the uh, Choice Band Strong Energy. Okay, that's that's a start. That is, that is a start game. Now, here's the hope in Galvantula lives a turn. He probably plays Float. Okay, there's you see he's got Floatstone probably or Guzma. Or Guzzy Guzzy Guzma. We haven't played a Sycamore. There's a Sycamore. Okay, he's losing okay, not bad. He's losing some supporters. And special charge, that's not too terrible, I guess. There's a Lycanroc. Does he have a way to retreat it, though? He's probably going to Bloodthirsty Eyes my Mewtwo, though, and try and trap it. No, Rockruff. Does he have the retreat play? He's got, I mean, a deck like this would obviously play a few Floatstones. So I'm assuming he has the retreat here. Uh, let's find out. Okay, he's probably going to grab another Rockruff? Nope, nothing. Okay, cool. Does he have, I mean, if he has a retreat, that's pretty bad. Maybe I should have said Octillery. Whistle hand for two. Please do not retreat. If he gets it, this is going to be ugly. Nice. Okay. And two. Wow, this game is like, yo, I heard you need a good hand. Okay, here you go. So we're going to retreat to Galvantula. Uh, I'm going to end him. I want to keep strong energy around. And here we go. Let's see what we find. Okay, we got Lele at least, so <laughs> there's something. Uh, we got Field Blower, which might as well play. I'm gonna get rid of two choice bands. I don't care, bro. I'd rather him bench a Rummery to knock out or rock rough. And here we go. We are gonna double thread. I'm gonna hit. I think I'll just hit Octillery and start softening that up to be knocked out. Seems good to me. And we'll see what else happens. This is a pretty good situation. I mean, again, we've, we've had a pretty rocky start, but we're starting to make a comeback, right? He does find Float, but at least we put a good amount of damage on the board. I think worst case scenario, he has a Guzma to knock me out, but even if he does, we're really putting some pressure on it. Decided we gotta do four double threads, though, on Lycanroc to knock it out. But I think we're good. Nice. Okay, just a knockout. I'm fine with that. This is going better than I expected. Now, question is, do I end him or do I Sycamore? I think it's better Sycamore. He sounds like Tillery in play. Wait, have we lost our Super Rod? We haven't. Okay, that's fine. So I don't mind losing these energy. I am going to try and go for Lycanroc here. Just for memes, I'm going to attach to Mewtwo. Just for the memes. Just for the memes. And here we go. We are going to Lele for Pro Sycamore. Here we go. If we whiff Lycanroc, this is going to be sad. And we whiffed. Okay, nice. We didn't. Uh, let's get rid of... I kind of want everything. I think I'll just get rid of Blower and Balloon. I mean, I could even Dangerous Rogue this thing if I wanted to. But I can't knock it out. I think that's got a Dangerous Rogue to be active. We're going to get Dangerous Rogue ourselves. That's fine. He has to Dangerous Rogue me too with this Lycanroc. How many Field Blowers does he use? One. Okay, I'm gonna wait to put Floatstone down then. Shall I think we'll, we'll put Galvantula down, I guess. Whatever. He could have made it. He could end me here. 
But we are going to Dangerous Rogue this like and rock. We're going to take our few prizes. Let's see what do we find. Wally, Stretcher. So we're going to get Dangerous Rogue ourselves. Unless we get really lucky. He's probably got an energy though. He's played a ton of energy. Yep. Okay, so we're going to get knocked out. Makes me wish maybe I kept the balloon around. Uh, maybe we should have kept balloon. Would have been bad here. Bring up Remoraid. I think I'm going to end him here too and do Stretcher. Ooh, nice. Okay, how many things have we played? Okay, we definitely need to do this. Okay, it's only one energy. Why'd I do that? Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's all about my DCs. So we're going to Stretcher, get back Joltik, Galvantula, and a Lycanroc. And we are going to end him here. See how this plays out. No Octillery. Are you kidding me? Alright, I think I'm just going to swing with Lele then. It's the safest play because he can't knock me out in one hit. I could have knocked out the Octillery, but I think it's better to do this. Because we still have most of our Guzmas. So yeah, I think that was a better play. I need to find a Rod though to get back those basic energies. That was a bit of a whiff, I'm not going to lie. That was a pretty bad whiff. Carbon could be interesting though, but I'm fine with that. It lets me do more double thread damage. Yeah, even with a strong G, Carbon couldn't even knock me out. You'd only do 80, so yeah, this is fine. Hopefully, we do live the turn. Stretcher. Okay, let's see. Probably gonna get back Rock Ruffs. He hasn't played a Guzma yet though. I don't know he has. I don't know how many he plays. I think he obviously would only play two. Three is way too overkill for a deck that plays probably four or three Lycanrocs. So I'm assuming he only plays the two. I mean, I play three and I have two Lycanrocs, but I don't have any Debo sprays or like anything crazy like that. I'm not a, I'm not a straight Lycanroc. This is a different build. I, I mean, if I'm, I'm on a retreat into this. If he does that, I kind of want to just go into Galvantula and double thread, which I think I'll do. Even though we're going to burn an energy, but that's fine. We need to find our Super Rod ASAP. I kind of regret Stretcher, our Special Charging, but... I mean, it is a dead card, kind of, in this situation. Okay. Okay, that's annoying. Alright, what do we top deck? Rip me. Stick the deck. Alright, I think I attacked to Mewtwo. We have Espeon. We have two DCs. Do I wait? I think I'm going to attack him anyways. Just say, alright, I'm still going to two-shot you. Oh, 40. Never mind, but whatever. We'll do that anyways. Then we can retreat into Galvantula. Because we don't... Again, we attached our float. We still have Guzma, I guess. We have a lot of ways to de-evolve him, which I think we're definitely going to go Espeon here. Maybe I should have just kept that, because we do have... He actually could win the game next turn. I don't know. Whatever. Maybe we can win next turn. I'm not going to show him Espeon quite yet, because we will win. We take out all three of these Pokemon, we win the game with Espeon. That's an epic win. But I am going to attach to Mewtwo, so I do have the retreat play. Even though we could have maybe caught that Guzma and won the game, it's better safe than start. Because Mewtwo has a choice band, it actually does decent damage here to his Lycan Rocks. So that's pretty Okay, sorry guys, I had to mute the mic there. Um... If you could tell, I was actually yelling. I was just saying, hold on, because I'm about to eat dinner, but I was like, hold on, I'm in the middle of something. Ooh, beautiful. I'm just going to put SP. He can't knock it out with one hit. There's no way. Else I'm super unlucky. Now, that's a handful of hands. We do find our rod, though, which is awesome and clutch. Get back two energies. And go range. Actually... Nah, let's just get back three energies. Screw it. Let's get back all the energy. But, folks, we do have... I mean, it doesn't matter. We win the game. What am I saying? <laughs> Forgot we had the win here. But we are able to Miraculous Shine de all and buy. And here we go. This is where Espeon comes to play. This is why the Double Threat Espeon plays are as lit as they are. Look at this. We just took three prizes with Espeon. You cannot get any more epic than that. Leave a like for that, folks. Leave a like for that awesome play. Thanks for watching the video. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end off here. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know how you like this deck. Let me know how you find it. We came close to beating Gardevoir. We beat Gramble deck. We beat a Lycanroc deck. 
We weren't able to show off the Galantula plays in the early game to easily take prizes, but we were close to even doing... Ooh, let me buy a pack, too. Never mind, I'm not gonna end the video off here. Let me buy a pack. Yeah, we'll buy a pack. Sweet. And, uh, yeah. Next video, I'm probably gonna try and get that Flamma Freeze pack. I just haven't had much time to play the ladder with college, man. College has just drained me. Just drained me physically. Made me too tired to play Pokemon. Also, just drained me in general. Uh, but we are gonna buy a pack of Burning Shadows, and we will see if we pull anything. Let's see here. I haven't pulled- Burning Shadows has such a bad pull rate. I'm not surprised if I pull a, a bad pull. Probably gonna be something stupid like a Persian or something. Let's be real here. It's not gonna be anything good. Yeah, it's gonna be bad, right? I told you, man. This is, the pull rates in Burning Shadows suck doo-doo. But thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to help me on the road to 2k subs. Can we hit 2,000 subscribers by October? It'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys on another PGO video. Peace out. Have a good day.